ability to stand and walk is an amazing accomplishment. Quiet standing occurs when the upper body center of gravity directly aligns over the lower body center of gravity. The keystone of standing balance is the sacrum in the sacral pelvic hip complex. Transfer of weight and force from the trunk and spine through the sacral pelvic hip joints directs stability and motion at the knees, ankles, and feet during standing and walking. The structural elements of standing balance, sacrum, pelvis, legs, and feet, are analogous in many ways to Gothic cathedral architecture. The pointed arch, vaulted ceiling, and flying buttress allow upright balance within the skeletal framework of the Gothic cathedral, similar to architectural elements in the human form. The load of the pointed arch is carried or transferred from the tip, the keystone, through the arch to the skeletal columns rather than to the walls, transferring the weight of the ceiling to the ground. The human Gothic arch beginning at the keystone sacrum distributes weight and force from the head and trunk through the lumbar spine into the sacrum and through the contoured sacroiliac and hip joints into the leg columns to the feet at the base. Wedge-shaped stones are essential in building a balanced cathedral arch. From the keystone, each wedge-shaped stone transfers thrust and weight from stone to stone by screwing home in slight rotation and compression at each succeeding joint until reaching the springer stone, which connects to the vertical column stones. The human skeletal arch is formed of wedge-shaped stones that screw home with rotation and compression at each joint from the sacrum pelvis through the pelvis femur, femur tibia, and tibia talus. The human and Gothic cathedral arches are in perfect balance when the contour joint surfaces exhibit hand-in-glove congruity. This allows height and stability within the arch structure during functional activities.